Hey, welcome to week three of the pigskin pickums. Little stuff to go over. So last week, Big Grizzly turned it the fuck around, went four and one. I gave you another fucking sperm bank lock of the week with Cincy covering easily covering at minus thirty one. Only one I lost was the Bengals um, on my upset special, but we all know upsets are a fucking gamble. That's why it's called fucking gambling. Now, I would have traded my good week for the rest of the other, the rest of the boys having a better week. We kind of took it on the chin. I think Drew went uh, two and three. Two and three. Drew went two and three. Waz went one and four. Yeah. One and four, and Brady went one and four. So. Wasn't a good week like last week for the boys, but we're going to bounce it. We're going to turn it around this week. We're going to start off we'll go, uh, with our first three picks. We're going to go to you, Drew. Give me them three picks. All right. Well, I'm going to start it out here. Had a rough week, but still on top. Still an 8-2 overall record. Still pretty solid. I thought I'd switch it up this week. I'm going to throw in a little bit of college, college action from me. My first bet, <clears throat> we're going to go to the SEC. We got the Roll Tide, Alabama. Going to cover the 27 and a half versus Missouri. Um, I don't know, honestly don't know much about Missouri. Don't think they're that good. Alabama's obviously one of the best teams, their best coach in college football. Nick Saban, they're going to come out. They're well rested, ready to go. They're going to come out and make a fucking statement. They're going to whoop up on uh, Missouri. Uh, my second pick, going back to the NFL. I got the New York football Jets are going to cover the 10 and a half versus the Indianapolis Colts. I don't think the Colts are that good. Uh, they're, they're suspect. I mean, the Jets aren't good either. The Jets aren't nowhere good. But I don't think Indianapolis is 11 points better than New York. So, um, so I got the Jets to cover the 10 and a half. And then my third pick is Green Bay to cover the four against New Orleans. I think – the way New Orleans' is defense, like Derek Carr, pass all, all over them, I think if, if they play like that, Aaron Rodgers might throw for 500 yards that game. Aaron Rodgers and that offense, has been, they've been clicking. They've been looking good. Uh, New Orleans, I mean, they played good week one, but then they shot the bed week two versus uh, Vegas. So, iffy on them, I think Green Bay easily covers the plus four there. I thought it was plus three. It's plus three now. Three and a half so is what it is live. It's three I, and a half when I currently. Checked, uh, when I checked, when I checked yesterday, it was plus four. Yeah, I got, I got three and a half as of this morning. Okay. So. All right, so go, th- so go three and a half then. Okay. All right, Waz, how about the, you're gonna retaliate? You're gonna come back from that bad week last week. Although I- before I go to Waz, I do want to say, all four of our sperm bank lock of the week's hit. That's where the money's at. Put them fucking sperm bank locks of the week. Waz, what do you got for us, man? All right, so. I mean, god damn it, I've got to bounce back after last fucking week. Holy <laughs> fuck. I mean, every gambler's got a bad week. It fucking happens. And then uh, after that, you just fucking you keep punching. You keep going in there, baby. You keep fucking pounding away, and you fucking come out clean the next week. That's how it goes. That's how it's going to be this week. <laughs> so, my first game, I called two weeks ago. Auburn minus seven and a half <laughs> against Kentucky. I said it two weeks ago. I'm going to fucking say it again. It's easy. Fucking go ahead, dial in your bet, cash out some money afterwards. Auburn's going to piss down Kentucky. I can't believe that spread seven and a half. I don't give a fuck who Kentucky just got. Auburn's well coached. Bo Nix is coming back. They're going to fucking shit all over Kentucky. It's not even going to be close. It's 16 and a half. You still want that bet. It's not seven. It's 16 and a half. I just got it this morning. It was seven and no, a half. No, Auburn's at seven and a half. Auburn's at seven and a half. Auburn's at seven and a half. You're thinking LSU, Dad. LSU, Mississippi State, six. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Auburn, Kentucky's ranked. Kentucky's in the top twenty-five. Kentucky's good. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky, Auburn's seven and a half, Dad. So my second pick, I'm sticking on the Garner Minshew train, baby. I'm going Jaguars minus three against the fucking Dolphins. Fear the mustache, baby. I believe Garner Minshew's gonna fuck go in there to Miami. It's gonna be a cakewalk for him. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. The Dolphins are atrocious. Garner Minshew ain't. He's got DJ Chark out there. I, I predict DJ Chark going off, having a fucking nice little field day. Uh, Dolphins look fucking terrible. Can't say enough bad things about them. They look like fucking hammered dog shit. Um, and then my third fucking pick, 
I'm going with Brady's usual fucking pick, baby. Circle the wagons for the Buffalo Bills. Minus one and a half against the Rams. Last week, Josh Allen had 417 passing yards and four touchdowns. I don't think that shitty Rams defense is going to slow him down. They got two good defenders, and that's all of their defenders. All you got to do, double team. Maybe, you know what, fucking triple team, okay? They got one pass rusher. That's it. That, that's all they have. And if they can't get pressure on Josh Allen, he's going to go off and have another fucking field day. The Rams are going to get blown out. The Bills' defense is going to be all fucking, oh, my God, they're going to molest Goff. I mean, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna know what hit him. They're just fucked. The Bills are gonna dominate that game. Those are my three picks. Solid picks. Was what? Um, tell me again. What was the Jaguars? Were they getting? Jaguars is minus three. They're minus. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're playing Miami. Yeah, I thought they were points. That's that's, that's cool. <laughs> I, I I missed that. How many you said it was? All right, Brady. How about you? What do you got for us? All right, so like Waz said, I'm, that was just bad for us, uh, one and four respectively both ways. Um, you know, it happens in gambling, and if you looked at our games, Buffalo was covering. They had the game covered. They gave up a backdoor cover with less than a minute left. They gave up a fucking a, a, a shenanigans touchdown. So that should have been a cover. The pit over, I was playing the numbers game. Uh, Syracuse's offense stinks, so that kind of – Backfired on me there. Um, Kansas City would have covered had Fandle not made it a super boost. Once you put the super boost out there, it's over for you. So that one was over. I did win the sperm bank lock of the week, and uh, I was wrong about Georgia Tech. UCF still looks like their fucking offense is far superior to Georgia Tech's defense. With that said, first pick, I'm going to lay to 27. Uh, UCF's playing against East Carolina. I'm going to take – UCF with the 27, that offense didn't look it, – it literally looked like it didn't miss a beat. They scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I mean, they're going to come out now. They they look um, – they didn't really look rusty like I thought they were going to. So, I think that's going to carry over. ECU, terrible. They're terrible. They were the basement of their division last year. They were two and eight. They're going to get some. They're not going to be able to stop that. Georgia Tech couldn't stop it with power five fucking athletes. There's no way East Carolina's stopping it. So I'm going to lay the 27 there. I'm going to agree with Drew. I'm going to take Green Bay plus the three and a half. I would have made this my lock. The only reason I didn't was because the Saints are fucking assholes, and next week they might come out and look like they did week one. But Michael Thomas probably still isn't going to play from what I was reading. So – I, I mean, the way Aaron Rodgers and them boys is rolling down there, Aaron Jones might have fucking six touchdowns. So I'm going to take that. And my last pick, I'm going to take Liberty, minus the six and a half over Florida International. Liberty. Uh, six and a half. Liberty, they're bringing back their quarterback, Malik Willis, who had a hell of a year last year. He's a stud. Led their team in passing, obviously, and led their team in rushing last year. So, I mean – FIU, another team that was in the basement of the American last year, so they're going to be just as bad. They're supposed to be worse these first couple games. They haven't played yet. Um, they're one of their linemen tested positive for COVID, so he's probably not going to play. He did return, but he hasn't practiced or anything. Their other tackle got banged up in practice. He's questionable. So Liberty likes to run the ball. They're going to control that game. I'm probably going to beat them by a couple scores. Uh, give you guys a little numbers here. I don't like to give the numbers too early in the season because, you know, it's a new year. The ATS trends are a little bit unproven. But FIU, they're 2-7 and seven ATS in their last uh, nine games in September. They're 1-4 and four in their last five games at home ATS. Then on the other side, Liberty, they're 5-1 and one in their last six in September, and they're 11-5 and five total against FIU. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna lay the six and a half with that. All right, good good pick. Brady dropping a dynamite fucking Liberty pick. Tune in to the show. It's one, the only, it's one of the only places you're gonna get a fucking Liberty pick going on here. All right, so it's my turn. I wanted to uh, I wanted to clarify something real quick. Or some some of our odds because I got a pick that Waz has our lines a little different. Now this is whenever we pick them. So 
if you will like Waz's line, he like my points, tease it up or down a little bit. You don't really lose yeah. that many, that many and, that much money in the odds. So you could tease it either way. And real right, quick so, before we start, before I forget, sorry I didn't mean to cut you off, but with what you were saying, just a rule of thumb for gambling, like for my UCF pick or given twenty seven, that's probably gonna go up by Saturday. Now if you're getting points, it's better to wait till Saturday to take the points you're getting because that's probably going to go up. Usually when you're giving a lot, people like to take the points so it goes up. That'll probably be up around 30 by kickoff Saturday. Good just, point. Just Good putting point. that out there. For the, for the amateur game. Good point. All right. So we're going to go to my picks. Okay, my first pick of the week is going to be the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the mullet-wearing fucking coach. Minus eight and a half against West Virginia University. Okay. Now, I'm telling you to go ahead and give them eight and a half points because the Cowboys in their last five games against fucking West Virginia are 5-0 and straight up, 5-0 and ATS. West Virginia doesn't travel good into them bit down them south, them Big 12 schools. Take, West, take Oklahoma State and give up the eight and a half. All right, my second game is going to be the Packers plus three. Okay, mine's at plus three whenever I took it. I said take the, take the pack on the road plus the three. They've scored over 70 points already in two games. That Saints defense is just a mess right now. And no Thomas means the Saints are going to – they're going to have trouble scoring the fucking ball. So, uh, definitely – and the Packers defense is a, is a pretty decent defense. So, go ahead and take the Packers there plus the three. And then my last bet, we're going to circle the fucking wagons, talking loud, talking proud with the fucking Buffalo Bills. I got them at minus two against the Rams, Okay. So I, I honestly think this is going to be a tough football game. I think that the Rams' defense is better than, than what people say. If you look at the numbers, they've given up less than 20 points in both of their games. So, But I, I think the, the Bills are going to come, come, come ahead at the end of this game. It's going to be a good defensive game. I look for them to win by three to seven points. So you'll be safe giving up to two, one and a half if you take Wazza. So those three are my picks. So we're going to move on now to the upset special of the week. Drew, give me something good. All right, well, before I get into my pick, I want to say I should have been 3-2 and two last week. My upset fucking other week was bullshit. The Falcons had a complete brain fart in the onside kick. <laughs> Fuck me. I should have been 2-0 and on my fucking uh, upsets of the week. But we're going to bounce back. Uh, this week I was I was torn between two. I was, it was two college games I liked. <clears throat> but I went with Kentucky to beat Auburn this week. I know it's going against Waz's grain, but uh, – Kentucky's coming in. They got a lot of hype this year. I'm buying in on the hype. They're 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 catching seven and a half. Take that if you want it. But for the upset of the week, I'm taking Kentucky to stun Auburn. Great good, good pick. Good pick. Boss, give me give me an upset of the week here. Give me something good. All right, here we go. Now I am going with the number one team in probably the shittiest division in the NFL. I'm going with the fucking Washington football team, baby. Plus seven against Cleveland. I think Cleveland fucking sucks. And I think the Washington football team, I think they're highly underrated. I think they go and they fucking beat the brakes off of Cleveland, baby. I think Baker is wow. a piece of dog shit. To let you know, I wrote it down in the book as Redskins because they're the fucking Redskins to me. I'm not writing Washington football team. Fuck that. All right, it's a good pick. I was looking at that one myself. I was really looking at that one. Brady, give me something good and upset special. I need money. All I'm going to say, the last time on this motherfucking show, we had two people take the same underdog, the Arizona Cardinals. They won. So this week, me and Daniel, son, great guys oh. think alike, we're taking the Washington football team to go into the dog pound with no fans. They're going to get it done. Anytime I see Cleveland and the Browns laying more than three points, I like to think they like to lose most of those games. They probably should have lost to the Bengals Thursday night. The Bengals' defense was horrible. They got gashed. Washington football team, they played uh, Arizona tough last week. They almost came back on that game. They looked really good. Haskins, I think Haskins looks great. They're bought into Ron Rivera's system. Um, in my opinion, they got the better coach. They got the better quarterback. Terry McLaurin, he's – starting to pick his game up a little bit. Um, Cleveland's just – it's Cleveland, man. I mean, Cleveland Lane 7, it's just, you know, they're all fucking hyped down there in Cleveland because they beat fucking Cincinnati, big fucking deal. You beat one of the worst teams in the league. 
at home, and you only beat them by five points. They gave up 30 fucking points to that team. I, I like the football team a lot here to, to come in there and get a W. The football. The football. And, the, and, they, football and they beat team. the Eagles. So, you the know, football team. team, they don't look bad. No. I, I like that pick, though, for, for both, from both of you guys, because as I told you, I was going to take it, too, because I really like that game. But so we would have had a three P. Now sure. on our upset specials, we're gonna have the two verse two because I love the fucking Kentucky Wildcats going down. To the <laughs> club, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna give you some fucking reasons why. Let me give you some reasons why. This is a huge upset alert. And you wanna take Kentucky, fuck them points. Just take the fucking take the take them to shock the top ten team in, on the road. And look, Auburn has Auburn has had to replace a ton of players. And listen to this. They replaced all four defensive backs are gone. Big Derek Brown and Davidson from that defensive line that shut down the run. They're fucking gone. Uh, they graduated four defensive uh, – four starting offensive linemen out of five. So, they got one returning offensive lineman. Of that. Now, Auburn gets good recruits. We all know that. They're SEC. They're a power program. But they didn't have no fucking spring ball. They had a modified fucking training camp. Those young guys, I don't think, are ready to step into this kind of fucking contest right now. And to drop two more things on you, Auburn will replace their defensive coordinator this year and their fucking offensive coordinator. Go with Kentucky. You're going to get some good fucking odds. Take them on the money line. Put 10, put 50, put 10 units. I don't fucking know. Whatever you want to put. Kentucky, baby. I like Kentucky. We got two Kentuckys, two Washington football teams. And I like the Washington football team, too. So go put your fucking money on that one, too. All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the week. We are clipping at seven and one on the fucking sperm yeah. bank lock of the weeks in the first two. So let's keep it up. Drew, give me the sperm bank lock of the week. All right, for our fans of the show, you guys know I've been fucking riding with them. Week one, week two, and I finally <laughs> put them in my sperm bank lock of the week. Kyler Murray is looking like an MVP kick player this year. Arizona Cardinals minus five and a half versus Detroit. I might keep riding Arizona all year. Arizona is playing fucking good football. I told you guys that week one. I told you they were going to be a fucking sleeper. Kyler Murray's playing phenomenal. Hopkins, uh, through the first two weeks, has a career high in receptions. He's got like 22 receptions through two weeks. That's insane. The defense is playing solid. Arizona is a threat, is a sleeper threat in that NFC. Watch out. Arizona minus five and a half versus Detroit is my pick. Go jerk off in a cup, make some money, bet on Arizona this week. I'm, I'm starting to buy in, Drew. I'm starting to buy in. Waz, give me the turn back clock of the week. All right. I took them week one, and I fucking regretted it. But I'll tell you what, in week three against a shitty fucking Denver Broncos squad, and I'll tell you what. I, I don't think Jeff Driscoll is going to step into the system. He's only started seven games in his NFL career. And uh, I'll tell you what, the Steelers, they, they, they didn't fucking – they just took their fucking foot off the gas pedal last week against this guy. I think the Buccaneers go in there. Uh, I got them at minus six. I think Tampa Bay is going to fucking destroy Denver. Destroy them. I think Tom Brady has had a lot of time now. Well, not a lot of time, but he's had more time to get in sync with his receivers, the fucking OC, the head coach. That's going to start coming together. They looked better last week than they did week one. And I think week three, it's all going to come together. And it, it's like in the longest yard when they're like, week one, just go ahead and play a dog shit D2 team. Call it a tune-up game. Beat this shit out of them. Get your confidence up. That's what this game is against the Denver Broncos. I can't believe the line's only six. I think Tampa Bay is going to shit all over Denver. All right. Um, uh, we'll circle back to that. I mean, I have little problems with it, but we'll, that's pretty good to pick. Brady, give me a sperm bank lock of the week. All right, my sperm bank lock of the week. Here we go, baby. I got a fucking special treat for the uh -oh. fuck here. <laughs> special treat coming for my sperm bank lock of the week. We're going with the Army Black Knights, baby. <laughs> Plus 14, they're playing against Cincinnati. Cincinnati did not oppress me. That defense gave up 20-some points to Austin P. Army, they're 2-0 against the spread this year. They covered a fucking 20-point spread last weekend, which is unheard of. These boys are rolling. They're going to control the clock. They're going to pound it down their throat. And 
bold prediction. I almost use this as my upset. I think Army might get it done. Army in their last 12 against top 25 teams, 10-2 and two ATS against the spread. Five out of them games, they went to overtime. And they almost beat Oklahoma down in Norman. I think it was two years ago. They was catching 20-some points. No one gave them a chance. The Army Black Knights, baby. Here they go. Here we go. How many are you getting, Brady? 14. I come for Paris. Well, I bought a six I love today. that Cincinnati team, but. <laughs> what? I seen. I, li I like the pick. I like it, but I really like that Cincinnati football club. We'll, we'll go. Oh, they're a good team. Um, all right, so it's time for my sperm bank. Lock. We'll go. We're gonna go for my sperm bank lock of the week. And I think I don't know if Drew's looking in my fucking book or what, because I'm riding in Arizona Cardinals for my fucking sperm bank lock of the week minus five. I don't know who the fuck Detroit thinks they are only getting five. That spread should be ten fucking points. I think Arizona's gonna beat them by two or three touchdowns. Uh, and Cards are two and zero ATS against the spread. I, I don't have to give you too many numbers. They're 2-0. Detroit's 0-2 versus ATS. And they're giving up like 30 points a fucking game. So that's an easy fucking pick. Take Arizona. You ain't got no money. Get on to the fucking your local sperm bank. Jerk off into a cup. They got magazines. Probably got fucking videos. It's been a long time since I've been to one. Go donate some Go donate some sperm. Get some cash and put it on the fucking Arizona Cardinals. Or if you like Army or if you like Tampa Bay, do that. Our sperm bank locks of the week are 8-1. Fuck if you're not following our sperm bank locks a week, you're not making fuck money. You want to make money? That's it. All right, Jeff, Seven, you want to make money? I like Do you like fish. money? Do you like money? <laughs> let's go. Over, let's go over some of these real quick before Waz has to take off. The only thing I don't like about your sperm bank Waz is Denver's just a tough place to go sometimes with that altitude and going up there and playing. I don't know. Just tell me something different. You don't I, think I, that's a problem? So Jeff Driscoll stepped in, and one, one thing I will say, uh, when, when a backup quarterback comes in, a lot of the time it, it seems like that team gets a spark for the rest of that fucking game. It, it really does seem like that does fucking happen. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree, yeah. But uh, I, don't, I don't think Jeff Driscoll uh, comes into this game doing what he did uh, in the second half against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think he's going to come out. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to dial it the fuck up. He's going to get a lot of pressure on him. He hasn't started that many games. He hasn't played in that many games. Um, and I, I just – I don't see Denver keeping up with Tampa Bay. Um, also, another thing, um, Tampa Bay, um, they addressed the issue, why isn't Gronk getting the ball? And Bruce Arian said, I like him as a fucking blocking tight end. Now, any team that comes out and says, we don't give a fuck if Gronkowski gets the ball or not, because the rest of their offense is producing, okay? I mean, that that just tells me they're confident. They got their fucking game plan set, and I like to see it, even though I love Gronk, and I think he's a tremendous athlete. If they don't need him, fuck, that's that's scary. <laughs> All right. Brady, uh, since you gave us a fucking dynamite liberty pick, I'm going to go go to you here first. You got – what do you got? Anything to say about anyone's picks? Like them, love them, don't like them? Well, obviously, I love Waz's upset pick. We have the same one. Um, so there was a couple games for the upset wise. I think I think this week this week's going to mirror Week One in college football. The NFL. I mean, this is an NFL pick, but I'm saying college football wise, there's a couple fucking teams out there that I, I mean, I like to pull off an upset. Army. I give them a chance. I don't know that they're going to do it if they control the ball or control the game the way I see them controlling the game. Take Cincinnati uh, out of their rhythm. I mean, I, I think Army could get a, get a uh, win there. Maybe. We'll see. I love the 14, obviously. That's my lock. But um, the Troy Trojans, they're getting uh, – well, I think it's 15 and a half. No one picked Troy. What? No one picked Troy. No one picked Troy. Like, I'm talking about the picks we got down here on paper. Yeah, he's um, asking you to give commentary on our picks. I, I know what he's asking me. I was just giving the people fucking some, some love. That's all. But, um, yeah. 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 What do you think of the Bama pick? That's a lot of fucking points for their first game. I, I don't like I don't like the Bama pick at all. I, they have an unproven quarterback coming in there. Nobody knows who this guy really what he's gonna do. And I don't know. They lost a lot too. Missouri probably isn't very good either. So I don't know. I, I wouldn't have laid that many points. Not not right. With the we team all know Bama's gonna nothing. beat. They might yeah, they're gonna win. They're, they're gonna win. Yeah, but I, I don't know for the first gonna... game here. 
But usually yeah. Bam opens up opens up with like a, a cupcake to get in tune. But I mean like Missouri's Appalachian a State. I mean, yeah. Missouri might be a cupcake compared to the SEC teams, but they're not Appalachian State or Southwest Louisiana Helen Keller School yeah. for line. But you know, so. um, Kentucky. Or I love the Kentucky pick. Auburn. They. I mean, I don't think Walls really looked much into it, but they lost a lot of players, man. And Bo Nix kind of took a beating last year on that offense line, and um, Kentucky's pass rush is supposed to be the real deal this year. So I don't know. I like that pick a lot. Tampa Bay, ooh, questionable for a lock, too, because, like you said, going up to Denver. Teams have a tough – It's, a tough, up, it's a tough place to play. It's, everybody says it. I mean, literally everybody says it. Now, Tom Brady has a lot of experience playing there, so maybe that works to Waz's favor. But, um, yeah, that picks – Raiders, Raiders and Kansas City, teams who go there every year. Yeah, yeah, that's not as bad, but – I mean, Tampa Bay as a whole, they don't go there very often. I, I don't know the last time. Probably, what, eight years ago they've been there. Cause that's, that's a sea-level thing going up to a fucking mile-high city. I, it, I don't know. Maybe Waz is right. I hope he's right. Yeah, I, I mean. I love, I love us to lock these in. I like giving. Those are the ones I'm the most – I, I want to win the most is the sperm bank. Because that's just – we're it's a guarantee. We're guaranteeing you. We got we to gotta win those. So, and we're 8-1, so we're proving we are. Yeah, well, um, I'm – well, I was okay. just going to say for the – for. Both of you guys' is Bills pick. Um, I like the Bills. I stayed away from using them as a play. I'm going to bet them. But this game right here, that's going to be a big game for me to see uh, which one of those teams is really for real or not. Like, if the Bills yeah. are for real like I think they are, they'll get it. They're at home. They should get it done. Uh, but the Rams, though, I mean, the Rams are impressive a little bit here. Like, I don't think anyone thought they were going to be anything special. I mean, they beat Dallas, and then um, they yeah. threw the fuck they – they thought the Eagles, I mean. Eagles are a mess. Though. Yeah, I know. I know. They're a mess. They're a mess. I'm just saying, I, I mean, I like the Bills here, but I also, you know, I, we'll see. The Rams, this is the Rams' uh, chance right here. If they come out and win this game, the Rams might be a problem too. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see. let me tell the people, the pack, we got three of us picked the fucking Packers. So, you know, that might be a fucking play there for you people. Oh, Take the, the Packers. Pack. Packers, I love that pick. That pick's just oh, – yeah. I mean, yeah. And what I, I, I seen from, up on that early because I think that line's going to go down. It could be yeah. a close even game by game time. I think what I seen from that, that Saints defense was just – I mean, that was atrocious. Like That was awful. It was terrible. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers yeah, always terrible. plays good down in fucking – he always plays good in that fucking down. Always. Uh, what would you think about my Oklahoma State pick? Anyone? Um, Adam Cowboys. I didn't look. I haven't looked much into West Virginia. The only game they played this year that I've seen them play was fucking uh, Eastern Illinois or whatever. So it was hard to judge what they're going to be about. I mean, Oklahoma State, you know what they are, but they did just barely beat uh, Tulsa at home. I know that Tulsa defense is pretty fucking stacked, but you know, Hubbard. It, it, the, Oklahoma Java. State's going as Hubbard goes. If they can run the ball and, and, and establish the, the run game, I think you'll cover that. But if West yes. Virginia somehow finds a way to stop the run, I don't know. I didn't look much into that game, to be honest. Yeah. All I right. stay away from the Big 12, man. The Big 12, they all them fuckers scare me except for Oklahoma. Yeah, they, they like to put up a lot of fucking points. A lot of them games are close, man. Go ahead, Watson. That's what I mean. All right. Uh, first, I cannot stress enough how much I hate that fucking Alabama pick from Drew. Um, we don't know what they are. They've had too much time off. COVID happened. All this shit. Um, they had no spring ball, like you said about Auburn. But, I mean, Alabama, they're not starting their fucking season with a tune-up game like they usually fucking do. They usually start out right. with some fucking team that's barely in division fucking one. Um, and they just go in and beat the shit out of them. Now, Missouri, I, I – I mean, I don't know too much about Missouri, but I don't know enough about the heart of this Alabama team and how uh, they're going to come out to say that they're going to cover that fucking huge of a spread. What was the spread again, Drew? 27 and a half. 27 and a half. That's a lot of fucking points for a fucking first game to fucking and a, con and a conference game, too. Yeah. Like you said. And another one that I didn't like of Drew's was that fucking Jets pick. Ooh. J E S oh, yeah, suck fucking dick. Oh, yeah, no way. Tough. No way. 
<laughs> oh, that they fuck. I hope wins it, but I didn't. I didn't really care for that pick either. I mean, they they basically played the second teamers of the San Francisco 49ers last week and still lost thirty one to nine. Yeah, they got fucking destroyed. I think the Jets fucking suck. They might be the worst team in football this year. It's yeah. very close with a couple. I mean, of I don't think the Colts are all that good either. But ten and a half is a lot, man. Ten and a half is a lot of fucking points. That is a well, lot for they, they covered they covered a ten and a half point spread against Minnesota. So I mean, why let me you know? Let me ask a question: Why the fuck is the Colts giving up ten and a half to the Jets, but Arizona's only giving up five and a half to Detroit? What's going on there? I mean, good for us. Okay. No, nope, don't ask questions. <laughs> and then I also wanted to point out that I hated you guys' Kentucky pick. I don't give a fuck about that pass rush. Bo Nix is going to fucking get it done. Auburn, boom. I was thinking about making that my fucking lock of the week, honestly. I think Auburn's going to fucking piss pound the shit out of Kentucky. When, I, when you're driving down to North Carolina, look up Bo Nix's numbers last year. Not very good. And he lost four of his offensive linemen. So. But he's got heart, baby. He's got heart. The kid battles. He ain't gonna get heart. He ain't gonna have heart when he's getting fucking piss pounded. It's, it's <laughs> confirmed. It's confirmed. Five five on his offensive line. It's confirmed. Kentucky's the winning of the ball game. Was his only rebuttal to was he has heart. It's not <laughs> a good rebuttal. Drew, tell me, <laughs> tell me one re- thing about your Alabama pick other than Alabama's always really good. Tell me one thing about Alabama. Go ahead. It's Alabama. They're the best there country you go. college football. You fucking ass. Their, def- their defense is always fucking loaded. You know they're always going to come ready to fucking play. They're always going to one... have five-star recruits. Do you know who their quarterback is, Drew? I don't, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Neither do <laughs> I. That's, that's, that's why I didn't fucking Alabama. bet on them. Like Drew said, Alabama got five-star recruits that sit for two fucking years before they come in. They're going to be good. They're always they're gonna be real good. They recruit better than anybody else. They're going to be good, but the only, the only problem I didn't like with it, Drew, was just the amount of points for the first game of the year, and it's against a fucking conference opponent. And See, I, I'll, put this, I'll put this there. Uh, Alabama's going to win that game, and they're going to win the game in a range that is very close to the spread. The, the thing I worry about in that game is 90% of the time you just bank on Alabama's defense giving up seven points max. I mean – so, in a game, I guess you really need them to uh, start strong, for one, because uh, if they start out rusty and, it, you know, going into halftime, it's a 10-7 game or something, 14-7. I mean, you know, you, you know, might be in a little trouble. Yeah. So, you need, you need them to come out strong, and you need to hope that uh, Alabama's defense is like they are every year, which I'm sure by midseason or in a couple of weeks they're going to be. But they haven't played a game yet. I don't – as far as – I don't know how much really practice they've had, so – you know, I mean, Missouri likes to run that spread five wide, no huddle. They they might get a couple fucking scores in that game, but the also, spread's gonna it's gonna be a close. It's gonna be a close. I'd say Alabama wins by definitely twenty points, but that extra yeah, that's what, what you I need an extra that. two scores to, to the twenty. Another thing you really have to be careful about is that backdoor fucking cover on them big ass spreads. You got to be careful of that fucking backdoor cover, man. They get a late fucking score and you're fucking cooked. See, that's why that's why I like uh, betting on UCF a lot of the time too, because they don't give a fuck. Like UCF will spread you out. Look what they did to Georgia Tech in the fourth quarter. They were beating them twenty-eight fourteen with like seven minutes left, and they scored two more touchdowns. They go for it. They don't. They don't care. They don't run the ball. Kill out. shot. Like, kill, kill shot. shot baby. Kill <laughs> shot. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're gonna wrap that up here. Um, you Wait, all didn't give any input. Yeah. Drew gives some yeah. Input. Oh, okay. Do you got input on any of those? Oh, yeah, I, I, had, I had it down. Four quick comments. One, roll tide. Two, love the fucking Arizona pick. Then I'm finally I'm finally happy someone's hopping on the bandwagon. Three, question for Brady. Did you buy that shirt just for today? Because if so, I'm riding Army heavy. No, look, right, it, it, was, it was destiny, right? We were in boss calls today. Uh, I was waiting for mom and dad to check out, so I was browsing around the store. Just looking. I wasn't looking for nothing in particular. I look to my left. I look on the rack. Army Black Knights fucking football shirt sitting there. I said, I like it. It was already written down on my paper. I said, Jesus, fuck. It was already my lock going into the day. It was just destiny. Perfect. And number four, if Woz loses another sperm bank lock of the week for us, Ryan Tampa Bay, do we ban him from betting on Tampa Bay as his lock of the week? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, I would like to point something out about Drew's fucking sperm bank lock of the week last week. As I commented last week when he said he didn't know what New England was going into that fucking game, and I said, then why did you make it your sperm bank? New England damn near won that fucking game. Who I'm won? Covering the spread. I'll tell you what. New England would have covered the spread if they didn't have fucking dog shit Nick Folk kicking field goals because they would have kicked a game-winning field goal instead of having to punch it in on the one. Don't come in here with ifs and buts. Don't come in here with ifs and buts. Who won? Yeah, because if if you want to be my aunt. So then I don't if you want to go with the ifs and buts of that game, if Greg Olson wasn't over the top and a piece of shit, the Seahawks win that game by double digits. Russell Wilson puts a ball right in his fucking hands and it goes through him for a pick six. So, I mean, make sure you – if you're going ifs and buts, make sure you if that in there too. Yeah, no, well, there's Greg no Olson, ifs and buts on this fucking show. No. You cover or you don't fucking cover. No ifs and buts. All right, that's going to be a wrap. Boom, roasted. Lock in your fucking bets. Post in the comments with you whether whether you agree with them or not. I don't think you're going to disagree with any of our sperm banks. They're pretty fucking good, baby. Great one. Don't at me with that bullshit. All right, that's a wrap. We'll see you next week. All right, next week for the show. See you later, next. guys.